All right, in this tutorial, we're going to go over um, Destination Master. And what I did is I brought in just a, a regular um, dog that comes default with your um, ZBrush. And I already did a clone UV Master, and so it's already been UV mapped. And it's up to six divisions. And if you want to know your polygon count, it's a good thing to write down is your polygon count. We've got here, looks like eight. A uh, million, 616. That's pretty heavy, so that would not be uh, good to bring into uh, Maya and then try to attempt to rig it. All right, so we've got this, and let's go ahead. I'm going to break this in a couple steps. I am going to stop it when I start to do the decimation because it'll take a, a little bit of time to do the, the, the pre-decimation part. Alright, so again, I did the UV mapping, when I double make sure you get that. And what we want to do is go down to our texture map. You want to open that up. And you want to hit new from polypaint. And you want to do that on the highest level, level 6, so it's not so uh, uh, dithered if you do like level division 1 or division 2. Alright, so I hit new from polypaint. Alright, you can tell that we've got this, now this is a horrible painting job. But anyways, it's just to show, um, to get our UV map out. And you can tell it's on. So the first thing I do is when it's there, go ahead and clone texture. You can see it's over here. And then we're going to go over to um, textures. And we want to flip it, just like that. And go ahead and export, and I call this um, dog scan. I'm just going to dump it to my desktop somewhere and hit save. Alright, so now that we have this UV map, we know it's good. Um, we also exported the, the good um, texture. Hopefully yours is 10 times better than this. And next what we want to do is go ahead and start working on Decimation Master. So I'm going to go to our Z plugins. Turn off my UV Master. I was just using that. UV Master. Pull that down and go ahead and click this button right here. That'll bring it over here to our right. Okay. And what you want to do is keep UVs. If you don't do this, um, it won't work. Um, all that work that we did just to get the this image out here will not line up. So keep UVs. Keep that on. And what I'm going to do is hit pre-process current. It's gonna it's gonna go up here and start thinking about it. then a slow yellow line will appear and this will probably take about five maybe up to ten minutes uh, depending on your model so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it and then I want to stop the recording and then we'll have a second recording all right let's see how long this is gonna take all right again I want to stop the recording. <laughs> 